Hello, and welcome to Tutorials Open Office. I'm John Shiliano, and I'll be teaching you today some key elements of the writer in Open Office. In this lesson, our objective is to open, save, protect, and close a document. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. To open a document from the Start Center, just click on the Open Office icon and you'll be taken to the Start Center. In the Start Center, you see you have a Open button or icon. You could click the Open button and it will allow you to select a file to open or you could click the arrow to the right of the button and it will show you recent files that you have opened up. So we'll go ahead and select tutorials to test for tutorial open office ODT and that will open up that document for you. If you're already in a document you could open up a new file by clicking file on the menu bar and then open and then selecting just like any operating system you have a way to open up a file here we're going to choose the desktop and we're going to find the file that's named test for tutorial open office you could double click it or you could select the file and click open and that would open up this file. You could also use the toolbar open and that would find the file, open it that way. And you can also go over to the quick starter in your taskbar they have a quick starter area and you could right click and open a document that way. When you are in the Open Office dialog box, notice you can select the file name and the different formats you want to look at. So if I want to look at any of these different formats, I could look at that. I could look at all files, just text documents, spreadsheets, etc to find what you're looking for. To save a file, you can go up to the menu bar, click File, and you can choose Save As, or if you've edited the document, Save It. We'll go ahead and select Save As, and a dialog box comes up and you can select where you want to put it. Then click Save. You could have also used Control S or Control Shift S on your keyboard. That would also allow the Save dialog box to open. Now let's go ahead and type something in. You could also have selected the Save button on the toolbar or the Save As button on the toolbar. Notice if you select Save, it will save it the same file name and the document has been saved. If you select Save As, it will give you a chance to look at the dialog box to select what file you would like to save it as what style, what extension you want on the file, and what name you want to give it, and what area you would like to put it in. When you get all that information in there, you click Save, and it'll, if the document already exists, it'll give you the chance to replace it. And you can also set the Save option 
to automatically save the file for you if you forget. And the way you do that is you select Tools on the menu bar, Options, then you go to where it says Load Save and select General. And make sure the Save Auto Recovery Information is checked. Then you can select how many ever minutes you would like to save it as. The default, if you don't set this, is 15 minutes. When you have it set, just click OK and your automatic save will take place. To save a document to an MS Word document, just click Save As and you can select save as type as a Microsoft Word document. Now when you do that, remember this is going to have a .doc extension when you save it. So it'll save it with a different extension. And it'll ask you if you want to keep this current format or use the open office format and we'll go ahead and keep the format the same. Maybe you would like to always save your documents as MS Word files. You can set the default to always save that as a Word file by Selecting Tools, Options, and then under the Load Save menu, select General. And then under the Default File Format, Always Save As, Document Type, Text Document, Always Save As, Microsoft Word document. Then click OK. And then whenever you save the document, it'll have the .doc format. If you don't want that, just change it back. Tools, Options, and go back to the ODF text document. You may want to password protect your file. Writer gives you two choices. You can read protect it. In that case, the file cannot be viewed without entering a password. And write protect it. And this is where the file can be viewed in read only mode, but it cannot be changed without a password. To do this, what you would have to do is click File in the menu bar and Save As, and the dialog box opens. You can click the checkbox that says Save with Password. Click Save, and it'll ask, Do you want to replace it? And we're going to answer Yes. This gives you a chance to enter a password. If you want people to not be able to access the file without a password, just go ahead and enter the password and confirm it and click OK. If you want to allow people to read the file but you do not want them to edit it, then after you enter your password and confirm your password, select Open Read Only and then click OK. This will allow people to read it but they can't edit it. If you want certain people to be allowed to edit it, then you would click Open File Read Only and then enter a password to allow them to edit it. Now remember, if you lose any of these passwords, there's no recovering them. So make sure you have a password that you're going to remember. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the file.
To close the document, but not close the program, you could click the X to the right of the document, and it will close the document only. Or you could click File, Close, and that would close the document only. If you have not saved your changes, it will give you the chance to save it, discard it, or cancel it. We're going to save it, and now the document's been saved, but it's been closed. If you want to close out OpenOffice completely, just click on the X to the top right of the window, and your office is closed up. In summary, in this lesson, we covered opening up a document, the saving of a document, how to password protect your document, and the closing of a document. Remember to check out www.tutorialsopenoffice.com for the latest in tutorials. And remember, you can subscribe Whenever I get a new video created, you'll get it in your email, which is a pretty cool feature. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.